these arteries are being injured. Meal after meal of fried animal protein and cooked vegetable oils and high fructose corn syrup and phosphoric acid and cola drinks, this constant chemical assault. I'm Dr. Michael Clapper. I'm a classically trained Western physician with postgraduate training in internal medicine, surgery, anesthesiology, and obstetrics. And I've been in general practice for the past 47 years. Like most of my colleagues practicing medicine in the West, uh, when we open up the door of our waiting room, we see a large group of people with a fairly small group of grim degenerative diseases. Obesity is rampant, and along with that, we see clogged arteries, high blood pressure, type 2 diabetes, a host of inflammatory diseases from inflamed colon to inflamed joints, skin diseases. Uh, these are the classic diseases in Western medicine seen today. Obesity has become very common because we are not only eating a tremendous amount of calories, way in excess of what our bodies require, but the particular combination of sugars and fats eaten at the same time uh, evokes what's called oxidative priority. We burn the sugars and store the fats for later. So when you eat something like ice cream, it is fat and sugar. You burn the sugar and store the fat. When you eat a cheeseburger, you're going to burn the sugar in the white flour bun and in the sugar in the ketchup and store the fat in the meat and the cheese. So we're eating that sugar-fat combination pretty much all day from the bacon and eggs and toast in the morning to the burgers and fries at lunch and to the fried chicken and the milkshake in the evening. Uh, even the uh, broiled salmon uh, eaten with the, uh, with the grilled potatoes uh, is that fat and sugar combination. So the vast amounts of fat and sugar that we're eating on a daily basis uh, is making us grossly obese. And it's more than just a cosmetic issue because as fat accumulates, especially inside the abdomen, uh, intra-abdominal fat puts out an array of molecules that sets off inflammation. They're called inflammatory cytokines. And they set off inflammatory conditions all over the body. So obesity basically is a state of inflammation. Uh, people can say, well, I'm obese, but I'm still healthy. No, if you're obese, uh, you're fighting inflammation. And that sets the stage for diseases in many kinds of organs. These are inflammatory lesions. These arteries are being injured. Meal after meal of fried animal protein and cooked vegetable oils and high fructose corn syrup and phosphoric acid and cola drinks, this constant chemical assault in our artery walls tears up the inner linings and that sets the stage uh, for atherosclerotic plaque formation. So because it all starts with the food we eat, when we're eating a plant-based diet of whole foods, of rice and potatoes, especially green and yellow vegetables, these are filled with antioxidants that quench free radicals and quell inflammation. Uh, and we are uh, herbivorous eating creatures, and that kind of diet really uh, maintains us in a less inflamed state. And, and that's really where we want to go with our food choices. They are all eminently reversible diseases. Every one of us physicians who practices a lifestyle medicine and gets our patients on a whole food plant-based diet, we witness this remarkable transformation within days of a whole food plant-based diet. That's uh, breakfast of uh, oatmeal and fruit or just water until you get hungry and lunches and dinners of big salads and hearty vegetable soups and big plates of steamed veggies and, uh, and vegetable curries, etc. This kind of food stream flowing through the body meal after meal, week after week, produces wonderful effects that within days the obesity starts to melt away and the arteries open up and the high blood pressure comes down and the joints stop hurting and the asthmatic lungs stop wheezing so much and the, the migraine headaches get better uh, and the psoriatic skin clears up, the inflamed intestines settle down and people turn into normal healthy people with normal height and normal weights and blood pressures uh, and they don't need a lot of pills and potions and procedures. And if people eat these, they can eat to their heart's content. It doesn't matter if you have a third bowl of vegetables too. It's all fiber and water. Uh, and the transformation begins. So I uh, meet these people where they are. I don't judge them. I don't wag any fingers. 
Uh, I, I welcome them and, and can paint a very optimistic picture that, yes, uh, within days to weeks, certainly, uh, they're going to notice some wonderful changes in their body and enjoy some delicious food along the way.